Before I leave the Quincy Wildlife Area, I wanted to mention the walk-in lakes. I'm at the trailhead for Ancient Lake. This is about an eight acre lake, a small lake in comparison to the others, but it's popular with people that like to bike to their fishing location or hike to their fishing location. Because you bike and hike, Ancient Lake doesn't get a terrific amount of pressure, so you could expect some pretty good fishing. In addition to Ancient Lake, there's Cup, Cliff, and Crystal Lakes. Those are all rainbow lakes and they do receive plants and very little pressure. As I mentioned earlier, the lakes in the Quincy Wildlife Area opened to fishing on March 1st, a month prior to other lakes in the region. The lakes close on September 30th, so there is a long season ahead for people that want to come and enjoy the variety of activities that are available here in the Quincy Wildlife Area, particularly the fishing. Don't forget to check in with the Quincy Valley Chamber of Commerce about the date for their annual trout derby. They do an excellent job. It's really designed for families. The kids all get some kind of prize and it's just a lot of fun. So look for that. Check in with the chamber around the 1st of March and you'll be able to get all the information about their annual trout derby. Well, thanks for coming along on this tour of the Quincy Wildlife Area, and I hope you get a chance to come over and enjoy it.